In our last video, we copied some data into a spreadsheet and started to format it. In this lesson, we will add some shading, merge cells, and do a few more things to give our document a more professional look. Some parts move pretty quickly, so be prepared to pause and rewind the video from time to time if needed. Okay, the first thing we want to do is to add some cell background shading to help different parts stand out a little bit. Select cell A2, the one that says what's left to save, all the way down to cell C9. Now click on that ugly paintbrush tool and change the background to a light green. Ooh, that's kind of ugly. I also don't really like the look of having my title starting right against the edge of the page. To add a little bit of white space, I'll click on column A and from there go to the insert menu and choose column left. Now I'll move my cursor up to the line between the A and B column marker until my cursor changes to an arrow. Now I'll click and drag to the left, shrinking the width to an appropriate size. To add white space now, change the cell shading by clicking the A column to select all of the cells and then choosing white from the cell shading menu. Okay, now let's add more cell shading to color the rest of the outline. I'll now add a lighter green all the way over to column K and further adjust the colors for my titles a little bit. Okay, the two different areas I've colored could use some formatted titles. Click and drag over the three dark green cells to select them. Then go to the format menu and choose merge cells and merge all. Now we can center this title perfectly using our center justify button right here. I'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other title. The text in these titles is a little hard to read. To help distinguish this area, I'll change the font color to white. After highlighting the cells I want to change, I click on the text color icon and choose white. Let's make this row a little thicker too. That way it'll look a little bit more like a title area. To adjust it, move the cursor right below row 2 until it changes to an arrow, then click and pull down. It's slowly starting to come together. I'm going to click on row 2 to select it and click the vertical align button on the toolbar. That's the one that has the arrows pointing to a line. From there I'll choose middle, the one with the two arrows. Columns D, E, and K aren't going to be used in this budget. Instead we're going to use them for some dividing space. So we can click on those and adjust their size. Okay, now you know the basics of formatting an Excel spreadsheet. There's really an unlimited amount of things you could do to this document to spice it up. I'm going to quickly finish adding some additional formatting to help sprucing it up a little bit. Feel free to follow along or dress this up however you see fit.